Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farrah Hossain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how to perform the batch cataloging in the Koha integrated library system with Excel data sheets of books and non-books material. So this video has three segments. In segment one, we will learn how to normalize the Excel data sheet into a convertible format. In section two or the segment two, we will learn how to convert the Excel data sheet into mock records. And the segment three is about the upload and import that mock data into Koha catalog. So let's start with Excel data sheet. I have one here. So let me open this. So this sheet is similar like the accession register. All the columns available which are required in accession register. For example, we have the accession number, ISBN number, and the author, main author, the title of that particular book or non-book material, subtitle, statement of responsibility, parallel title, addition, and the place of publication, this area called uh, imprint area, publisher, year of publication, pages, other physical description, and so on. So, the difference between this list and the accession register are uh, is actually mark tags. So, the mark tags, we use mark tag here. So, you can see this 001 is tag is a mark tag for control number and control number is normally used as accession number so 020 a is used for isbn number and 020 is for isbn number and dollar is a delimiter and a is actually subfield code similar $100 A is for author. So if you want to learn more about mark structure, you can check the video in details of, I mean, in description of this video or uh, check the I button. So there's a complete video about the mark structure. So let's move on. And 245 is for author and $245 B is for subtitle. I mean, title and subtitle statement of responsibility so there you can write the author name the complete author name without the inversion so there you can see this is written in inverted style so you can write here and the parallel title for example this book has a parallel title in some other language for example in urdu or any other language so you can write the parallel title here and uh, place of publication let me write one title here i'll show you so so this book is also available in urdu language this one natural guesses so let me write the title in parallel title so you need to install the phonetics or you can use microsoft uh, other languages like this so i have installed phonetics urdu phonetics so you can install urdu phonetics here so let me write the title for example natural gases it's a uh, uh, Maybe I'm right here. <laughs> so this way you can write the parallel title anyhow. And two five zero dollar A is for addition and this area two six zero A, B and C they are I mean actually for imprint area. Place of publication, publisher and the year of publication. So if you are using uh, RDA as a cataloging code, so you need to replace this tag as a 264. Instead of 260, you need to write 264. 
and uh, 300 is for physical description of that particular records or books for example the pages and the roman pages illustrations and the size for example the pages 26 uh, sorry 300a is for pages and 300b is for other physical details dimension accompanying material types of unit size of unit so you can write all these information separately but i have written like this this is what i like to written but you can write separately and then at the last point we will join together so don't worry about this similar if you are cataloging according to rda cataloging code you need to add three more column here 336, 337, 338 as content type, media type, and the carrier type. So RDA use content type, media type, and the carrier type. So you need to add three more column here, 336 as a tag number, 337 again the tag number, and the 338 again the tag number. So there you need to write the information. Remember, we are cataloging according to some cataloging code, either RDA or either ACR2 or whatever the cataloging code you are following. So you need to perform cataloging according to some cataloging code. Whereas uh, metadata or metadata schema, they are the format of cataloging. So you can see this, these tags number are actually the format of cataloging. And there you, whatever the information you put here is actually cataloging. And you are performing cataloging according to uh, like inverting style. This is according to ACR2. So you are writing information according to ACR2 but this tag and the delimiter is actually mark so you can see $100 a is for mark so the dollar a and 100 they all are mark and this is actually the metadata schema and mark is one of metadata schema whereas we are cataloging according to ACR2 so you can use RD as a cataloging code so there you need to perform the cataloging according to RDA so maybe I have cleared the concept of cataloging and metadata schema if you want to learn more about the different between cataloging and metadata schema or the cataloging code and metadata schema or different between ACR2 and RDA and the mark so you can check the description of this video there's a complete video available what is the difference between mark and the ACR2 and the RDA so all the metadata schema and the cataloging code so there's a complete video available so you can check it out in the description of this video or the i button so you need to understand all the concept first and then you need to perform this otherwise you will be disturbed actually and then uh, 490 in short let me explain you in short this 490 or this tags or actually they are metadata these i mean these are actually marks all these are marks the first row is mark And whatever you are writing here as a record information, this is actually the, this could be RDA or this could be ACR2, according to ACR2 or RDA, okay? Anyhow, let's move on. Okay, there I put, uh, where we are, okay. Series statement and then 500A is for note area and 650A is for subject. So I have written four separate subject. Subject 1, subject 2 and subject 3 and subject 4. If you are using subject heading instead of subjects, so you can write subject 1, the main subject here and then subdivision of that subject. For example, you need to, oh sorry. <laughs> You need to write a uh, dollar x for journal subdivision and you can check what other subdivisions available for mark tag 650 so you can check it out there's geographical subdivision there's actually uh, uh, some other subdivision so this uh, uh, 650 dollar x is for journal subdivisions if you are using as a subject heading or if you need to write four separate subject 
or three separate subjects or two separate subjects. So you need to use two columns or three columns or four columns. So I'm using four separate subjects here. And then 700A is for second author. 700, uh, I mean, 700A is for use for second author and then editor, compiler, illustrator, translator, they all come in 700A. So you need to write uh, the second author here and the third author here and if you are cataloging according to acr2 cataloging code so then you need to write at l after the uh, third author or if you are cataloging according to rda cataloging code then you need to write the all the author's name as it is i mean author 4 author 5 author 6 after the third author so you can write i mean you can choose what uh, cataloging code you need to choose according to your library scheme so you can choose the cataloging code and metadata schema is actually marked here and if you are using rda then you need to change some code here or you need to add three or four uh, uh, more columns for some other codes so anyhow so you can see 700a i mean then we have Okay, I have missed two important columns. Let me write here. It's eight, uh, five, six. I think eight, five, six. I'm if I'm not wrong, eight, five, six, a. Sorry, three is for URL text, and the. I will check it out, and I'll let you know either it's eight, five, six or eight, five, four. I'm not sure right now, so let me write here. Eight five six dollar U. Okay, so there you need to provide the text you are using against the uh, URL or some DOI, or there you need to provide the direct URL. For example, the book is also available, or the content of this book is also available on some uh, URL for example this one this is just an example youtube.com yes slash raflims okay so I have put one URL here and then you need to provide the text for example click here to access the e resource so anyhow then after the url we have 942 dollar c for item type okay there you need to remember there are two layers of cataloging one is the recording of bibliographic description of any record for example author title imprint area subject area note area physical description and so on uh, the second layer is about the recording of holding details for example item type the status collection code and the permanent library location uh, current library location, shelving location, date of acquisition, source of acquisition, cost, and the full call number and the barcode number. And also you can write some public note there. So you need to remember 952 is a joint field. Okay, let me explain you first. So $942 C is for item type. It's BK. BK is actually the code of book that you have provided in the basic parameters of Koha. Uh, whatever the code you have provided there, you need to write here. Uh, and similar for collection code, permanent library code, main library code, shelving location code, and whatever the code you have provided there in the basic administration or the basic parameters of Koha, so you need to write here. The same code will come here. Okay. Uh, uh, if you want to learn how 
to work on basic administration or the basic parameters of koa there's a complete video in the description of this video and the i button you can check the i button and now okay after the code we have date of acquisition so this is actually the uh, correct form to write the date for example let me explain you further so we need to write the year first and then month and then date donation this is actually the source of acquisition so you can format date uh, if you want to if there's some other format available for date you can format date for here for example here so you can see this is date and this form available if you couldn't find you can select this one or the english canadian so English Canada this is actually a better option so you can provide this format date okay donation and price okay 952g I mean dollar G is for cost on what cost you have purchased so you can replace this with the replacement cost so there's another tag for replacement cost and 100 you need to write the cost in number like this without any symbol for example most of the people may write like this and this is wrong i mean approach you need to define the currency first in the basic parameters of koha and you need to write the currency like this and then uh, this is actually the full call number so you can write the full call number and then barcode number barcode number must be unique and then we have public note so you can write some public note if you want to as i said 952 is a joint field and this field is about the details of item so for one item all the subfield codes or the columns may join together uh, for second or third or fourth copy we need to repeat all these columns for example you have uh, another copy of this record so you need to repeat all the columns in 952 so this may actually enlarge your uh, excel sheet but we will join together all the columns for example you have uh, let me copy all these columns here and i'll show you for example we have four more copies of all rec uh, items so we need to repeat all these columns four times for second third and fourth copy so let me separate this okay and then we will play some tricky for second third and fourth copy So here we are. And this is actually the information about the first copy. I mean, one accession number or the one barcode number. So even the same information or the same shelving location or the same acquisition date, then you have to repeat the, all the columns for addition we actually repeat the record entry and this is for second copy here we need to change the barcode number 
this is just an example uh, so we have how many barcode number we have 20 so let's suppose this is 21 and then 22 <clears throat> And 39 here forty. This is just an example. You will write the exact uh, barcode number the or the accession number of your multiple copies. Okay, let me smaller this size 100 person. Okay, suppose when you purchase this book in 2018 or some after some time you have purchased this book, I mean the same copy in 2019 and the price may be raised. or you might change the shelving location similar for the third copy for four copy or even though the information may remain same you need to repeat all the columns of 952 okay this is one thing the second thing is about the the first column will come as it is the second column will change we need to pl uh, play some tricky here for example 952 instead of 952 we will write 953 and we will change this in the mark edit file and so on Because if we merge this together, I mean, if we join this field together, it will automatically join this field. I'll show you why I'm doing this. But you can keep this uh, template it is very useful and you can ask me if you need this and this is actually the best way to enter your record with the uh, additional items I mean the additional copies And then for third copy, we will change it to 954. It will take a little time at the first time, but it's actually good to keep this template and to record your entry with the items actually.
My videos are normally long but I try to explain each and every point. So be patient actually. Okay, we written 94 uh, we need to write 955 here. I'm sorry for doing this. Taking long. Okay, <clears throat> we have done now. So we have, uh, this is actually the, here's the information about the record. And this information is about the item. One item, second item, I mean the second copy, third copy and the fourth copy and in the similar way you can add as many as copy you want and we have another way out to add multiple copies I'll show you when we come to the second sheet and this is actually one of the finest data we have but most of the time we found the data has some glitches for example this data has the proper 13 digit ISBN number. If the data has a 10 digit ISBN number, usually it start with the zero, uh, double zero or one zero. And if you try to write zero with the Excel, so it will not accept the zero before the any digit. So for that purpose, you can add an uh, apostrophe before zero. So it will add the zero. But in case of number of resources, how you would provide the zero here. So we have another sheet. Let me show you. So this sheet has 14, I mean 13 records, not 13, 12 records. And uh, no ISBN number has zero. For example, this ISBN has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 digit. And this ISBN has two more zero in the start here. It must have. So if you try to write zero, and this ISBN is of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you try to write zero here, it will not accept so what to do and similar you can see the data has some glitches for example title you can see this is actually the uh, apostrophe quotation mark i mean this one also quotation mark and there you can see the quotation mark and one symbol is available here you can see this one and another symbol is also here move on the date is not in the format so what to do now so start with isbn we just need to select all them and the format cell and then custom and come here is zero so we need to write 10 times 0 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And OK. See, it has added 2 or 1 or whatever the 0 required before 10 digits. So it will accept it. <clears throat> but when you uh, convert this or when you talk about the text file, this is actually the custom formatting. When you talk about the uh, text 
or when you try to convert this into MRK record, so it will not accept the zero. For that purpose, you need to select the column and uh, copy and you need to open notepad. Paste, come back to Excel and now come to the format cell and make it uh, text. And now go to this sheet, copy and paste again. Select all and paste here. So now see the format is text. Text is quite important as a format. I mean the cell format. And similar, this need to replace better option you just need to copy and open new Excel file, Excel sheet and paste here and replace this. Or you can use the text file, I mean the notepad. Control F and replace all with zero, I mean with blank value. Similar, you can select if there's some symbol, you can select the symbol and you can replace this. The two replacement. Now you need to copy the same column. You need to select the complete column and paste here. And even you can check spellings. If there's some spelling mistake, you can correct them. Now, for the date, you need to format cell. And instead of journal, you need to come at date and you need to provide the English Canada and this one and OK. Now it's quite OK. Similar for the currency. This format is not accepted. If you write in this format, it will not accept. If there's no currency available, if there's no uh, cost available, leave it blank. Or write like this, for example, 1100. That's all. Four hundred. That's it. And try to format cell text or the journal or the number. It's quite fine. There's no harm in it. <clears throat> so this is another sheet. And we have another way out to add multiple copies. This one. This is for second copy. Instead to write different columns and join together, make a script to join together here in Excel sheet. So we have made this. You can see it's dollar eight, or you can name this to nine five three even. Dollar eight. See. <clears throat> And uh, this value is dollar eight. This one collection code for second copy. Dollar A. Dollar A is actually the main code. I mean the code of library. This one, the permanent uh, library code. Dollar B is for current library code. Dollar C is for reference. So you need to change the value here. It's 
similar for dollar d is for date and dollar e for publish i mean the uh, supplier and dollar g is for cost and dollar p is for barcode the second barcode actually so let us change this to 80 and then the call number this is our second copy if you have third copy you can use this script but for every for, but for every copy you need to write the information one by one for this so this is another option but the most favorable and the most useful is this one okay so we have two sheets here sheet one and sheet two sheet three is just an example i'll okay let let me keep it here so we have sheet one and sheet two and sheet three is just an example so leave it as it is and now we have completed the normalization of excel data sheet in a convertible format so we will convert this into mark record in next episode of this series so thank you very much this is farooq hussain and you are watching raflims